That's an interesting question, how many rules underlie a skill, and partly it's a question of how, uh, how uh, skilled uh, the person is. Um, to sort of have rudimentary proficiency in a particular domain, uh, someone may master only a few hundred rules. So it's perhaps not unreasonable to suppose that once a student learns from a semester's course, the mathematics would be on the order of a thousand new rules to solve a mathematical problem solving, uh, presumably uh, <coughs> learning uh, any skill that takes on the order of that amount of time, and students really put in about a hundred uh, or maybe a little bit more hours in a semester's course, uh, might lead at best to a thousand rules. But people who only invest a hundred, a couple hundred hours in acquiring a skill do not acquire much of a skill. Uh, to become very proficient in a domain requires not hundreds of hours, but thousands of hours of practice, and presumably the number of rules that are being acquired over that time is proportionately larger, given the lots of special case situations which the novice has not learned how to master. So it's reasonable, I think, to think that a novice may have rules that are numbered in the hundreds, that an expert might have rules that are numbered in the thousands. If you look at a few domains where people are really skilled, like uh, <coughs> uh, natural language, where, spe where children spend 10 years, uh, 10 hours a day mastering a natural language, not unreasonable to think that they have tens of thousands of rules which underlie uh, their mastery of natural language. 